in its effort to close the case uh, to close the gap in treatment and prevention of cancer in Nigeria, the federal government has commissioned bracket therapy machines in five federal uh, territory hospitals across the nation. The Minister of Health Osage and Hanari, while commissioning virtually, said steps are being taken to also improve cancer care services for children. Benedict Oko has more on the story. The Federal Ministry of Health has disclosed the federal government's actions in ensuring infrastructure and the provision of anti-care medicines for optimum treatment outcomes of cancer patients in the country. The Minister of Health, Osage Ehaniri, who gave the assurance while commissioning brachytherapy machines in five federal tertiary hospitals across the nation, said plans are on the way to improve cancer care services for children. Federal Ministry of Health under my watch has continued to improve access to cancer care services. Uh, as I said, in diagnosis, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy. We are currently adding radiotherapy services to some hospitals in the country with the installation, training, and the functional brachytherapy machines at the National Hospital Labuja, University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital Lenugu. University of Benin Teaching Hospital Benin, University College Hospital Ibadan, and the Amadou Bello University in Zaria. Such a facility also has been set up at the Usman Danfodio Teaching Hospital in Sokoto, but it is yet to be commissioned. On this 2023 World Cancer Day, I shall commission these brachytherapy machines in these hospitals I have mentioned. And that one in Zokoto, as I said, will be commissioned at a later date. This is a rare demonstration of commitment to close the cancer care gap between rich and poor in our society. Steps are also being taken to improve cancer care services in children, working with development partners to create access for comprehensive treatment of childhood cancers, which, as we all know, require very specialized attention. The brachytherapy machines are expected to serve in both surgical and radiation therapy in the treatment of cancers. It's an innovation. It can be used separately and its result is even equal, equal to what you get when you do surgery, even though it's a radiation therapy. And if you use it in combination with the therapy, you get a super result. If you also use it alone, you can use it separately. People prefer it because there is no surgery to a, most, uh, to a large extent and of course that will also tell you that uh, the experience will be pocket friendly so it is more positive and that's the way to go globally it's what it is and it's good that Nigeria is uh, accepting this the results will begin to show moving forward other stakeholders called for additional care to be given and capacity building of professionals I think for us to have a national center of excellence in you know, cancer you know research and treatments and that you know, has come to pass, you know, the bill was actually signed by uh, President Manuel Buhari some years ago, about two years ago, and between then and now we'll be pushing for the implementation. With that, you know, we are confident, you know, that management of cancer of, you know, patients in this country will actually improve. You know, above all, you know, we would to actually engage, you know, research in our country because we know that, um, you know, cancer management and treatment, there's a um, genetic diversity. So with this center, you know, the center can, you know, stimulate, you know, breakthrough research in the country, you know, particularly not only limited to cancer, also in other areas. The brachytherapy machines are currently being installed and operational at National Hospital Abuja, University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital Enugu, University of Benin Teaching Hospital Benin City, University College Hospital Ibadan, and Amadou Bello University Teaching Hospital in Zaria.